A statement on behalf of Hamas senior political leader Ismail Haniyeh says a truce with Israel is approaching. 28 dozen premature babies have been evacuated to Egypt as part of a Palestinian Red Crescent Society initiative. And finally, video has emerged from Yemen's Houthi rebels showing the moments armed men seized an Israeli-linked cargo ship. Hey everyone, it's Fakhria for the Roundup and here are today's top stories. Following reports of Israeli delay tactics in the Qatari-led mediation process, Reuters reported today that they received a statement from Hamas senior political leader Ismail Haniya. According to their report, Hamas say they are close to reaching a truce agreement with Israel. As part of the agreement, both sides would adhere to a ceasefire, allowing for aid workers and trucks safe entry into Gaza. Further reports indicate the Qatari delegation is soon to announce further details of the breakthrough, including the release of women and children being held hostage. And now, a group of 28 premature Gazan newborns in need of extensive care and battling for their lives have arrived in Egypt. A convoy of Palestine Palestinian Red Crescent Society ambulances departed from the Israeli besieged Eshafa medical complex to Rafa's Emirati hospital. In a statement to Reuters, a World Health Organization spokesman said the 28 babies arrived safely in Egypt, but all are fighting serious infection and are in continuous need of health care. The images of premature Gazan newborns unable to receive adequate medical attention have become a harrowing symbol of suffering amid the ongoing war. To date, Gaza has suffered a death toll of 13,000 people, with almost half of those casualties being being children. And finally, footage has been released by Yemen's Houthi militants showing gunmen seize an Israeli-linked vessel in the Red Sea. In the video published on Monday, men are seen to land on the ship via helicopter. The video also shows them brandishing weapons at the crew. All 25 of those on board have been taken hostage. The hijacked ship is now reported to have docked in Yemen's Hodeida port, according to the Isle of Man-based Galaxy Maritime Limited, who owned the ship. According to the Houthis, the ship has links to Israel, a claim the state initially denied, although it later emerged that Israeli billionaire Abraham Ungar is in fact a partial owner. And that's it for today. For more information, make sure to check out the website or download the app.